Hey what's up everyone, Simulator Shane here. Today I want to show you the installation of the cyclic control. So that's this piece here, it consists of this vertical piece. The right hand control is fixed and then just like all the other controls, the left hand control is removable. The cyclic controls the roll and pitch of the helicopter and it does this by moving the swash plate which is connected to the rotor system, so that's up here and basically the swash plate is a disc that rotates in all directions and it's right beneath the main rotor system and it has linkages that go up to the two main rotors and as the rotors move around their revolution the cyclic changes the swash plate which because it's connected through linkages to the rotor system changes the pitch of the blades as they go around their revolution so that's why it's called the cyclic um, the cyclic control installation went pretty smoothly nothing went went wrong in terms of the fitment or the installation of the actual control system the main base here and uh, the pieces that go back and then up to the rotor system they came out of this helicopter and then the vertical piece and the the two controls came from another helicopter so there was no problem in fitting them together One of the interesting things to note during this installation that I found out was uh, helicopters are obviously very different from fixed wing aircraft and most of the simulators that I've worked on in the past have been for fixed wing aircraft like the King Air or the Cessna Citation or a 172 or something simple like that and in a fixed wing aircraft each control is directly connected to the control surface so the pitch on the yoke is directly connected through linkages to the elevator and the roll in the yoke is directly connected to the ailerons for example and this is, makes it very easy to simulate because all you have to do is put sensors on each control linkage and it's independent they're already separated now because the swash plate design is used in the helicopter this is very different so when I started putting the control system together in the helicopter, I noticed that the, the cyclic control linkages are actually interconnected to the collective through that linkage right there. And basically, this is because the collective moves the swash plate up and down, and the cyclic changes the pitch. And they need to both be able to change the swash plate at the same time. And basically, it does this with three linkages one in the front and two in the back. You can see those linkages right there. So these two control the roll of the swash plate. And right now I'm moving the cyclic from left to right, and you can see the two tie rod ends are going up and down. And then this middle control on the front is connected to the front of the cyclic, uh, sorry, the front of the swash plate, and that controls the pitch of the swash plate. So you can see that going up as I move this, the cyclic control stick forwards and backwards. And then the collective is called the collective because it collectively raises the cyclic, uh, sorry, the swash plate up or down. And you can see that when I move the collective up and down, it moves all of those three controls up and down collectively. So it's much more complex than a fixed wing because all the control linkages are interconnected. But the installation went well. You can see the, the way the cyclic is connected there. Basically the linkages here go all the way to the front. And then this bolt goes down and holds the linkage to this main frame and that allows the cyclic to pivot left and right and then within that assembly there's another bolt that goes through there that holds the cyclic main vertical piece to that piece that can rotate and that allows it to do pitch 
So basically, it's just a big gimbal. And just like all the other controls, there are mechanical stops. So that's left and right, and forwards and backwards. And that takes the stress off the other systems by limiting the movement if someone's to move the controls too far. So that's a quick overview of the cyclic installation and how it connects to the rotor system. Hope you found it interesting. I'll see you guys next time.